Hello all. So we'll continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have done with the <coughs> gas station modeling. So let's continue with it. So let's continue with the stuff which is required. So let's set it to first the shaded. You see some kind of uh, details over here. So we can generate these details. So let's zoom it and let's start with this such kind of details. So very first of all, uh, take a box. Let's go to the top view. Let's go to the top view and let's take a box over here. Generate this box. We can just push this box a bit up over here can push it a bit inside so convert to editable poly and you can just scale it so you want to scale it right from the center you can just scale it from the center over here so you can just shift this a bit over here so right click convert to again editable poly now let's take a swift loop over here so i'm going to take one loop so if you don't want a loop first we'll just uh, insert this stuff a bit over here now let's take a loop over here one over here and one over here so let's select this so let's go into polygon and let's extrude it down so i'm going to extrude this stuff down over here click ok save your file so now let's go to the side view over here let's go to the side view and let's adjust this let's take a box over here so we'll take a box over here and let's draw a box so we are going to adjust this box accordingly by scaling it a bit so we can generate such kind of details afterwards on it so you need some kind of details we can just generate these details accordingly now convert to editable poly again and let's use a bit of swift loop over here, one over here, one here and one here. So let's click on this. So we need one more loop over here. So let, let's click over here. Let's say uh, extrude it. So I'll just extrude it over here a bit. I'll go into this view vertices and I'll just set it inside over here so I can get that kind of look over here. So let's give a just a grey color over here. So now you can go over here if you we can generate such kind of details afterwards. First of all, let's again take a swift loop over here. Let's press 4 over here and let's insert it, click OK and let's click on bevel, so you need a bit of a bevel option, so let's give a bit of bevel over here. So now what I want is like, let's go over here onto this side view, let's take a line over here. So let's take a line, let's take a line, into the line, let's go into the vertices and let's give a bit of fillet over here. So let's give a fillet, so let's give a fillet and go down, 
rendering enabling viewport so as you can see you can just give a bit of thickness to it and let's uh, push this stuff over here in this way so as you can see we have uh, defined this over here can push this in this way so let's make uh, one more copy over here and we'll just duplicate this stuff over here that's it and one more copy and duplicate this over here so once you're done with this stuff now what I want over here we can make this stuff over here this details so let's take a box over here so let's activate this auto grid select the box convert to editable poly just uh, scale a bit so it's not always necessary you go with the same we can just make it a bit different also so let's select it connect it push it on to the top over here so let's select it all connect it okay so let's select this say this ring it by pressing alt and r and let's go down control and click on this polygon and just extrude it by local normal that's it all right okay so you can just give double onto the top vertices scale it inside you want it and just make the shape that's it all right so save your files again so you can just scale it we can just scale it down and scale it down and you can just duplicate this stuff like this okay so let's go over here again let's first go with this details which is left out from the long shot so from the long shot if you see you have some kind of lights and all this stuff so let's take a box let's go to the top view and create this stuff over here so just you can push this stuff up so convert to editable poly so you can press 4 and use a bit of a bevel option and click ok so let's go to the top view select this shift and drag to make a copy select this shift and drag to make a copy and shift and drag make a copy and to the last shift and drag to make a copy so as you can see we have uh, generated this kind of stuff over here so just select this and save the file so now what I want over here is like I want some kind of details over here so as you see some uh, details on to the top which is connected so let's uh, generate these details using this stuff so let's select this copy this and let's rotate it in 90 degree push it onto the top over here I think this is too big you can just make it small so just take this up over here we have one more reference so let's take uh, one more reference over here so we have this reference as well over here so we can just connect it in this way 
so let's take a line again over here so you can just take a line so it's going to connect it in this way mirror it and just copy this push it over here in this way so select this both and we can just shift it over here so if you want to reduce its thickness you can just reduce its thickness thickness to 3.15 and let's put it accordingly to its place so let's see the reference over here so if you want that I think it's inverted so you can just rotate it in this way so you can just rotate it like this perfectly you can go with your choice or way of doing it so select this and again uh, mirror it copy it and you can just place it in this way as you like it so save your file so open the reference now so now if you see in one more reference over here you have this connection or else we can just uh, push it behind over here you can just push it behind so after you push the stuff behind now go on to this view and again take a line take a line over here better claim it on top of it and increase its thickness in a much better way you can do it that's it so clamp it up and finally you can just select this stuff so push it over here so convert to editable poly so you need a loop over here so just add a loop so go into polygons so let's go into polygons extrude it by local normal reduce the size click ok and you want to scale it you can just scale it that's it ok so one more thing uh, you can just delete all this stuff because it's too big so we can just uh, you know reduce the size of it so we have already uh, created this a bit smaller you can make it more smaller copy it so let's drag it over here so you can make uh, one more copy of it till here better so select it and just give a color to it that's it all right so uh, i think you can just uh, take this stuff out and make a copy of it let's go to the top view again and make a copy so just go on making a copy over here that's it so we'll be generating this details in this way so let's save your file so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial